welcome everybody. Uh, this is like it's 1985. Uh, this is the Battle Scarred Gundam review. Uh, this is going to be on the uh, Wing Gundam Zero Custom uh, from Gundam Wing in those vaults. Now this is my first uh, Wing Custom or Wing Wing anything really. Um, so this will be interesting to try out and see what it's like. I don't expect a lot from the articulation based on the previous four figures I reviewed. So. Uh, I do like the iconic dual rifles. That's really cool, and I like how it's used in the anime. And one kind of interesting thing is I don't really like the design with the wings, how they're so realistic as as to represent like an angel's. I like like the dragoon system on the Strike Freedom. Don't get me wrong, I like that look, the kind of the techno wing look. I don't really like the almost realistic looking wing look on a Gundam. So I never really bothered getting a model kit and spending the money and time to build it, something that I don't really like. But this is part of a lot, and I, you know, it's 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 not it's not bad. Um, but I'm certainly not going to get the perfect grade uh, Wing Zero custom by any means, or even the one to one forty four model kit. I'm, I just don't have that much interest in, in a Gundam like this with wings. But I do like the, the how the Gundam is uh, presented in the anime and the fact it has dual rifles. So. Let's go ahead and check it out. Well, it looks like we saved the best for last. This is the, mo the most heavily battle damaged of all five of the, the Gundam Battle Scar figures I have. Starting with his face. You can see right there he's missing the whole side of his face. And uh, moving down to his shoulder, he's missing an entire piece here of his shoulder armor. Uh, entire piece of his hip armor here and the knee armor is gone entirely as is the ankle armor on his uh, ankle there so really uh, gives new meaning to the word battle damage to really, really nice uh, battle damage details there uh, you can see there's a lot of pitting and uh, scarring in the wings big chunk right there is taken off of the edge of the the wing, as you can see. Uh, some more wear and tear. Some more scarring. So definitely the best <clears throat> detailed in terms of battle scarring. Now articulation wise, uh, head looks like a go 360. With the wings on, you're not going to get a, a lot of shoulder articulation, but uh, arms, uh, there's no upper arm joint, bend at the elbow, swivel wrists, and a little bit of waist articulation, uh, hips are on a ball joint, so without a squirt armor you can really go high up on his uh, left leg, bend at the knee, ball jointed angles, so here's another look again. Of all his missing armor. In really nice detail again with the head. Now the wings, articulation wise, they are on ball joints and uh, at both ends. Wings can go up and down like that on the back. Ball jointed connections onto the, the main uh, mobile suit. Same thing here. Pretty wide range of posability as far as the wings go and the articulation. <clears throat> so, as far as accessories, you, get, you do get uh, two hands for the beam saber, which it does come with, two closed fists, and of course the trigger finger hands for the mighty twin beam rifles, which are pretty iconic in the series. And that's another thing I'm glad of why I got this uh, uh, Wing Zero Custom. Even though it's not a model kit or it's not a normal non-battle damaged uh, Gundam, it's still nice to have it because it is definitely an iconic uh, lead Gundam from the Gundam anime uh, genre. Now we got the, the uh, rifles. Not much battle damage. What you can do is take these pieces off on the corresponding sides and they are supposed to combine 
via tabs into a big buster rifle and it's going to be kind of difficult to show you but it's just you know you just got to squeeze and squeeze until they get together like that but you know they'll, they'll, they'll eventually come by I'm sure you just uh, press into all the points here um, I'm really not going to display them like that because that's not how I recognize the wings zero I'm going to be doing it with uh, the rifle one and rifle in each hand because he's just uh, that's just so iconic to have him with the two rifles I think like that so I'd have to say when all is said and done of the five figures that I won on this eBay lot the uh, this particular one the uh, wing zero custom battle scarred Gundam is definitely the best in my opinion as far as the, the five I have reviewed um, like I said before I wouldn't necessarily get this Gundam as a model kit because I just don't like the idea of, of wings they're so realistic looking um, again I'm more for the uh, techno wing look uh, aka or <laughs> for example uh, you, know, you know the Destiny Gundam or the Strike Freedom Gundam I like those kind of wings the Dragoon system uh, and the strike destiny or strike freedom is uh, definitely cool. I like that, but I just don't like the just the realistic looking wings. But like I said, this is battle damage, so I'm happy to pick it up. It was roughly ten bucks when it, when it all was said and done, and so I picked it up for, for a pretty good price. And I, I'd say, like I said, like this is the best figure that I have as far as the the battle scar Gundams go. Okay, well this will be the last battle scar Gundam because that's all I have in my collection. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next review.